Welcome to this video on the Nicene Council. In the early years of Christianity, there was a theological controversy that threatened to divide the church. The Nicene Council was a significant event that aimed to resolve this issue. In this video, we will explore the major argument that took place at the Council and the outcome of the deliberations. The major argument at the Nicene Council was about the nature of God and the divinity of Jesus Christ. The controversy arose from a disagreement between two prominent figures in the early Christian church, Arius, a priest from Alexandria, and Athanasius, a deacon from Alexandria. Arius was a prominent priest from Alexandria who held a different view on the nature of Jesus Christ compared to the prevailing Orthodox belief in the early Christian church. He argued that Jesus Christ was not equal to God the Father, but was instead a created being. According to Arius, Jesus was the highest of all creatures, but he was not of the same substance as God the Father. This view became known as Arianism and it gained many followers in the early Christian church, especially in the eastern part of the Roman Empire. Arianism was a controversial theological belief that challenged the traditional understanding of the Trinity, which held that God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit were three persons of one divine substance. Instead, Arianism taught that Jesus Christ was a distinct and subordinate being, created by God the Father. This view was seen as heretical by many Orthodox Christians who believed that it undermined the divinity of Jesus Christ. Despite opposition from many bishops and theologians, Arianism continued to gain support in the early Christian church. Many people found Arius's arguments persuasive and were attracted to the idea that Jesus Christ was a creature rather than an equal divine being. This led to a major controversy that threatened to divide the church and prompted Emperor Constantine to call for the Nicene Council. At the Council, the Arian view was debated at length, but ultimately rejected in favor of the Orthodox view of the Trinity. This view, based on the teachings of Athanasius, held that Jesus Christ was of the same substance as God the Father and was not a created being. The Nicene Creed was formulated to express this view and it became a central statement of faith for the Christian Church. Despite this, Arianism continued to exist as a theological belief for many centuries, and some Christian groups still hold to it today. The Nicene Creed is a statement of Christian faith that was adopted at the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. The Creed was formulated in response to the theological controversy surrounding the nature of Jesus Christ and the doctrine of the Trinity. The Nicene Creed affirms the Orthodox view of the Trinity, which holds that there is one God who exists in three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The Creed declares that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, and that He is of one substance with the Father. This affirms the belief that Jesus Christ is fully divine and co-equal with the Father in every way. The Creed also affirms the belief in the Holy Spirit as the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, and in the Eastern Orthodox Church, from the Father and the Son. The Nicene Creed further states that the Church is one, holy, Catholic, and Apostolic, and affirms the belief in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The Nicene Creed has been and continues to be an important statement of faith for many Christian denominations. It serves as a symbol of unity and a shared belief in the core doctrines of the Christian faith, particularly with regard to the nature of God and the doctrine of the Trinity. The controversy threatened to divide the Church, and Emperor Constantine recognized the importance of resolving the issue in order to maintain unity within the Christian community. In 325 AD, he called for a council of bishops and church leaders to be held in the city of Nicaea in present-day Turkey. The first council of Nicaea was attended by over 300 bishops and presided over by Constantine himself. After a lengthy debate, the council ultimately sided with Athanasius and adopted the orthodox view of the Trinity, which affirmed that Jesus was of the same substance as God the Father. The council also produced the Nicene Creed, which summarized the orthodox belief in the Trinity and served as a statement of faith for the Christian Church. The Nicene Creed became widely accepted throughout Christendom and played an important role in defining Christian doctrine for centuries to come. The Council of Nicaea was a significant moment in the history of Christianity, as it resolved the dispute over the nature of Jesus Christ and solidified the Orthodox view of the Trinity. The Council also helped to establish the authority of the Church as an institution and the role of the Emperor in Church affairs. In conclusion, the major argument at the Nicene Council was about the nature of God and the divinity of Jesus Christ. The Council aimed to resolve the dispute between the followers of Arius and Athanasius, and it ultimately adopted the Orthodox view of the Trinity. The Nicene Creed, which was formulated at the Council, remains an important statement of faith for many Christians today. Thank you for watching this video on the Nicene Council. This is the Nicene Creed you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again, with glory, to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Nicene Creed is a statement of faith that summarizes the core beliefs of Christianity. It affirms belief in one God, who is the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. It also affirms belief in Jesus Christ as the only begotten Son of God, who was begotten of the Father before all ages, and is of one substance with the Father. The Creed also affirms belief in the Holy Spirit as the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, and in the Eastern Orthodox Church, from the Father and the Son. The Nicene Creed further declares belief in the One, Holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come.